Hi again. So I'm coming to you on Cinco de Mayo. Should have thought of this yesterday because then you would have seen this today. But I chose another Skippy, Don, Skippy John Jones book because of my wonderful Hispanic accent. Um, anyway, before we get to the read aloud, um, I just wanted to remind you to log into Zooms. And if you, for some reason, um, sorry, my hair's really tangly. If for some reason you can't make the Zoom, please check in. Um, your points for Zoom um, count two ways. You either check in to Zoom <coughs> during your time, or you email me and let me know, like, hey, I couldn't make it, but I'm checking in with you. Um, that's it. So if that's how you're going to get your points. Um, if you don't check in with me that week, or you don't come into the Zoom, then you won't get those points for that week. Um, I don't make you stay the whole time. I just, especially this week, we need to make sure you understand the All About Me um, project and ask questions if you need it. So um, it's just a way for me to check in with you, see how you're doing, um, to make sure you're engaged um, with learning, <clears throat> and that's it. So please check that. Please reach out if you have questions. Um, and here's our read aloud today. So it is Skippy John Jones, Cirque de Olay. Thought it was kind of fitting because of Cinco de Mayo. Hopefully you had some Mexican food last night. I'm planning on getting some takeout for Mexican. All right. So here is Skippy John Jones. Skippy John Jones was a real high-wire Henry. And that was, and that made his mom, whoa, and that made his mama as worried as a worm in a waiting pool. <clears throat> oh my fleas, wailed Mama Junebug Jones. Come down from that wire before you break all your bones. He can't hear you, sang his sisters, Jujubee, Jezebel, and Jilly Boo, because Skippy's up in Squirrely World. The girls were right. The kitty boy was performing tail-tingling tricks on the telephone wire above them. That's amazing, gushed the girls. He should join the circus. Circus berserkus, groaned Mama. I'm calling the fire department. Fire department, repeated Jilly Boo. Skippy's not on fire. He's on wire. But before Junebug Jones could press a button, the kitty boy did a triple spin backflip dive right into Mama's apron pocket. That was really good for a chiwulu, said Juju B. The word is Chihuahua, said Mama, frazzled, and he is not that. Skippy John Jones is a Siamese cat. Then she lugged her catch of the day back to his room for a timeout and a big talk. <clears throat> what did you think you were doing up there? You and those squirrels on a wire in midair? What if you tripped and fell on your head? You'd have to spend months in a hospital bed. Then, as Junebug Jones pawed at her hives, she let the truth slip out about cats and nine lives. I wish we had nine, but we only have one, so think about that, my Siamese son. Then she closed the door. The kitty boy was thinking, all right, about bouncing on his big boy bed. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, and I don't have nine lives, so what's the big deal? Hey, did I just see flies? Indeed he did, and he chased one over his mirror, over to his mirror, <coughs> where he ate it. Holy snackito, exclaimed the kitty boy, loved him crunchies. Then he looked into the mirror, and using his very best Spanish accent, he said, If I have but one life to live, muchacho, let me live it as a chihuahua. In less time than it takes a flea to fly to Florida, Skippy John Jones put together a fine costume while he sang in a muy, muy soft voice. Oh, my name is Capito Frisquito, and I am one handsome daredevilito. I'm physically fit, every part, every bit, just right for a circus puchito. In the meantime, over the over in the snowing sewing nook, Mama was attempting to have a sensible conversation with the girls. Where is Jilly Boo's tutu? asked Mama. The Chiwulu has the tutu, replied Jujubee. Whatever for? asked Mama. 
because chiwulus wear tutus, said Jezebel. And cows wear mumus, added Jujubi. And boopoos wear band-aids, continued Jezebel. And I need a nap, moaned Mama. But the chiwulu wasn't thinking about tutus, mumus, or boo-boos. He was thinking of flying through the air with the greatest of fleas, just like the dog on a flying trapeze. <coughs> Until thump! He planted his paws in a perfecto landing on the turf outside the Cirque de Ole! shouted his amigos, Los Chimichangos. Hola! hollered back Scapito Frisquito, the great Agrabito, to his barking buddies. Hold your ponies, Papito, declared Poquito Tito, the smallest of the small ones. Have you grown a bigote? I think. No, I did not grow a mustachito, answered the gadito. It's just part of my costume. Bueno, said Don Diego, the biggest of the small ones, because we need you to grow something muchos mas importante. But what could be more important than a mustache, muchachos? asked Capito. <clears throat> Los musculos, <laughs> added all the papitos. Not the lumpitos giganticos, declared Scapito. Oh, si, sí, muchacho, said Poquito Tito. The muscles. Then Don Diego pulled an old circus poster out of his right ear and let it unroll. Now do you get it, dude? Oh, I get it all right, said Scapito. It means I am low dog on the totem pole. This made the chihuahuas twist and shout. Oh, yes, that's right, Scapito. Your cabeza is just what we need, oh, and your muscles must grow just in time for the show, or else we will all crumbleito. Then all the peritos snuck under the skirts of the big top. First, the muchachos tippy-toed by the cabalista practicing on her pony. Then they slipped past the paeso, putting his paper-popping puppy through his paces. But it wasn't until they reached the elefante that the papitos had to worry. Watch your step, amigos, warned Paquito Tito. But we are, we are but pugas to her. We are not fleas, said Scapito. We are chihuahuas. All these Spanish words are giving me a run for my money. <clears throat> and that wasn't all the doggies had to watch out for. They saw Leones and Tigres and Osos. Oh, my. But the most dangerous animal of all lay sleeping like a baby in his cage. Let's take a peep. Pa Let's take a peek, Pepitos, said Scapito. Let's just take his traje, suggested Poquito Tito. Not his costume, declared Scapito, alarmed. Por qué? Because it will look mucho major on you, senor. Then they raced like rabbits over to their dressing room. Oh, Bella stopping in to say hello. Okay, go lay down, Bella. I have to read the book to the kids. Okay. But the circus waits for no dog, so with the speed of a spitball, the pochitos change their chico into the world-class circus perro con musculos. First they gave him a vitamina, then they pulled on his new traje. It's too big, complained the gatito. No worries, woofed Don Diego. We will pump you up. And pump up the, peri the peros did, singing, Um papa, um papa, lito. We'll give you the muscles you need, oh. Cause strong you must be for the triple TP, so we don't all go boom, tumbleito. Then it was the moment of truth as they floated Scapito out under the big top. Oops. Peros poured out from every point and piled on top of Scapito's grande cabeza. Up, up, up they climbed until they formed a perfecto tower of tiny trembling chihuahuas. And beneath the tower stood the, whoops, the power tough and shaky as five-day jello. But just as the pups were about to make circus history, whoa, <laughs> putsy Strongleboot, the strong dog, strutted out into the center ring and bit the behind of his very own trahe. Ole! shouted the crowd. Oh no! cried Scapito, as the tiny trembling tower of power tumbled from his head. Ta-da! blasted La Banda as Scapito flew up into the rafters like a punctured balloon. 
Woohoo! hooted the crowd as the gatito caught hold of El Trapecio. Then he flew through the air with the greatest of squeeze. The brave little cat on the flying trapeze. But just as he reached to the highest point, Scapito let go and dazzled the audience again with a double twirly squirrely twist onto the tight rope. But the tightrope acted just like a slingshot, and thwap! It sent Scapito up, up, up to the tippity top of the tent. Then shoop! Down, down, down he dove. Cabeza first into the cotton candy kitten kickball, cotton candy kitten ball cannon. Where Putsy Strongleboot, the strong dog, was waiting to light the fuse. Drum roll, por favor, por favor, ordered Don Diego. Butta, 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 then kaboom! El Scapito Frisquito, the great Agrobito, plastered out of the circus, out of his closet, and right out of his room. Smackadoodle, shouted the kitty boy as he collided with his mama's head. Wow! exclaimed Jezebel. Where did he come from? He came from the circus, silly, said Jilly Boo. Later that night, after a piece of maple mouse pie, the kitty boy made up a rhyme just for his mama and delivered it with the most sincere bounce. Oh, I'm Skippy John Jones, but you're the bee's knees, cause you're cooking this smokin'. Hey, did I just see fleas? asked mama, beginning to scratch. Circus fleas, replied, replied the kitty boy proudly. Circus berserkus, muttered mama. Get your collars out, kittens. It's going to be an itchy night. Whew, and that is the end of Skippy John Jones, Cirque du Ole. That was hard today, <laughs> but it was fun. So I hope you have a good day and got out for some of the sunshine or will get out. Um, and I will see you back here tomorrow. Make sure you're working on your All About Me. And if you have questions, let me know. Bye.